China to be held accountable for not being transparent on where COVID-19 originated. Ashley Strohmeyer is live as Congress weighs possible payback for misleading the world. Ashley. Good morning, guys. Lawmakers want China to be held accountable as there's more speculation surrounding the origin of COVID-19 coming from a lab in Wuhan, China. This, as a senior World Health Organization official was asked in late February, if the Chinese government censored early coronavirus data and if that played a role in the acceleration of the virus. He said in part, I don't know. I didn't look at that. I'm just being completely honest. And his mission in China was focused on what worked, not what went wrong. Senators, though, like Florida's Marco Rubio slammed China for its handling of the coronavirus pandemic. China's reputation globally has already been badly damaged. There are plenty of countries out there that know exactly how China mishandled this. The damage that China has suffered to its uh, perception around the world is, is in many ways irreparable. Fox News chief political anchor Brett Baer says lawmakers from both sides of the aisle are talking about possible payback against China. It's for actions Beijing took or failed to take in the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic. And there's already bills about possibly pulling back manufacturing and the pharmaceutical industry. This follows as President Trump freezes all of the money going to the World Health Organization from the U.S. The Foreign Affairs Committee sent a letter to the president saying the voluntary contributions should be dependent on the resignation of the World Health Organization's director. The committee's ranking member, Mike McCall, said in part, the U.S. is the largest funder of the WHO, contributing more than $893 million during their two-year budget cycle. In the same cycle, the People's Republic of China contributed around $86 million. China's foreign ministry spokesperson is denying this virus was leaked from the Wuhan lab, saying the head of the WHO has no evidence of the transmission starting in the lab. Rob, Jillian. All right, I shall show my